What's up guys, it's Eric Kelly, AKA The Tech Gentleman, bringing you guys another video. Today I wanna to give a huge shout out to my homie Harrison for allowing me to unbox his beautiful new Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Before I get going, I wanna remind you guys, make sure you hit me up in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Threads. I'll have links in the description below. Also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you got any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down below. I'll make sure to get back to you. But without further ado, let's talk tech. What's up guys? So we're back and we're here with the all new Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Terrible name, but the device I have high hopes for. It's pretty much improved in every way. Everything is different. As you can see, the box is different, right? The name is different. The original fold ship closed. This one, as you can see, ships open. The box is thin, which is kind of a foreshadowing of what you're gonna get once you actually get your hands on the device. But shout out to Google, they're doing the entire uh, recycled, environmentally friendly thing. Not bad, this is an interesting way to do it. But as you can see, they have a little outline of the device on the front of the box on the inside. Take the top off and you're greeted with the all new Pixel 9 Pro Fold. It's open this year, once again. And as soon as you pick it up, one thing you notice compared to the first one is it's lighter, it's thinner. It's bigger. Like I said, this device is different in every single way. We'll take a quick look at what's in the box. It's not much. You do have a CDC cable there. You got your normal little books and stuff. And in case you're wondering, yes, there is a SIM card ejection tool. It's just hidden inside of the little pocket here, housing the books. But we're gonna go ahead and get done looking at the box and move on to the starter show, the retire reason why you guys are here, which is the all new Pixel Fold 2. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call it that. That, that just makes more sense to me. But anyway, here's a device, and just in hand, you notice that it's lighter, it's thinner, and it just feels more refined. We're gonna take the wrapper off of here, and it's like unwrapping a Christmas present. As you can see, it's in the Obsidian Black, which is you know, one of the two color options you have available. They have a porcelain as well, so kinda either or. None of the cool colors like you have on the Pixel 9 and 9 Pro series, but I like the obsidian black and as you can see here for our first fold once you close it up it looks like a standard device once again even closed is still ridiculously thin um, on the back there i like the consistent google language which is the matte back with the shiny g and holding it next to the original fold you can see it's got a complete different device in every single way aspect ratio display size build materials the original one has stainless steel which added a lot to the weight the new one has aluminum and here's a side by side the original one wasn't necessarily thick but the thinness of the new one just kind of not necessarily puts the, the original one to shame but it makes it feel like it's outdated right the shiny bezels make it feel outdated the new one just looks more refined more polished and just feels more modern I, i'd like to say so comparing it obviously to the elephant in the room when it comes to foldables in the us the samsung galaxy z fold 6 and one thing that i noticed immediately was even though the pixel fold on paper is thinner it's not shockingly thin compared to the uh, galaxy z fold 6 right z fold 6 they did a great job this year of thinning it out but I think because the Pixel Fold is actually heavier and a little bit bigger, it kind of offsets the thinness compared to the, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 because it is uh, lighter and smaller. And once you open it up, this is really where you see the biggest difference between these two devices. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is, is kind of huge, right? Especially once you open it up, so I think once you decide how you want to use this device, I think the Pixel is designed to be used closed first with open being set up sort of a, a lot more intentional thing. Whereas it seems like with the Samsung, the plan is to use it open most of the time. And then if you need to use it closed, you can, right? You have that functionality, almost like it's the, the front screen is in addition to the folding in the screen. And so that design language kind of, I think really 
is going to guide how you use these devices and which one you choose. As of right now, this is a great time to be alive. Folding phones are everywhere and they're actually great phones, right? So looking at the hands on the Pixel uh, Fold, it is kind of interesting because it basically kind of pops open a little bit and you can see just how thin this device is once you get it open and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Z Fold 6 is thin, it's light, but this guy's just pushing the limits on how thin you can make something. It's really kind of amazing, to be honest. Um, and also something else that came to mind, just holding this device, this is the closest thing I've come to, to handling something like the OnePlus Open. I think the proportions on the uh, Pixel 9 Pro Fold are pretty similar to the OnePlus Open. Same design language. Um, they got the camera cut out on the inner display up in the top right corner, or depending on how you're holding it. Similar aspect ratio. Something that does stick out to me though, is I feel like this front display is maybe just a little, I don't think it's gonna age well. It's hard to see on here because the background is black, but the bezel around the display is pretty thick on the outside. And then that left hinge area is pretty prominent as well, which in my mind, these are something that uh, Google can't immediately start to address in the future. And But when you open that first fold, look at that bezel on the first fold, right? This is, I'm calling it right now, the Pixel Fold 2 is easily the most improved year over year device. I mean, look at that, the first one doesn't open flat. Um, just the jump in design language, the, the they, they made a lot of right decisions with the, uh, the Pixel Fold 2. Um, but it's year over year, easily the most improved device. Look at the bezels on this original device. This came out last year. That reminds me of like Galaxy Z Fold 2 days um, as far as that bezel goes. But anyway, um, as far as the 9 Pro Fold, um, here it is next to the 9 Pro XL, which is a phenomenal device right now. This is in my running for uh, device of the year. Um, but you can see, especially when we look at the sides of it, like look how thin this is compared to the 9 Pro Fold. This, this looks and feels almost the same thickness, but one of these opens up to an eight inch display. Once again, this is a wonderful time to be alive, right? This is something that's readily available. You don't have to be, you know, a top tier, you know, content creator to get your hands on this device. You can walk into a Verizon, to a T-Mobile and say, hey, give me the one that folds in half. And they're like, sure. And you pay 50 some odd bucks a month or whatever it is, and you're in the future. But once again, this has been my unboxing of the 9 Pro Fold. If you got any comments or questions, I'll make sure to get back to you. But until next time, peace. Thank you.